Hello, drawing a higher on the hoon. I'm Dub Cupin. Zag to Angling. Why say a Polaroid finger trick? I'm Scoop. I just said, hey guys, Dub Cupin here. And today I'm showing you how to Polish finger trip. Okay, so let's first of all get on down to positioning. So again, you remember, this is a little scoop at an angle. So when you actually perform this, the Polish finger trip, you actually have the top side on the right when you do this sledgehammer and the hedge slammer. That's what it's called, hedge slammer, sledgehammer. You're gonna have the top on the right like this. I mean on the back, yeah, back right here. So this is my top right here. You're gonna put your thumb right here, pointer finger on which used to be the top, which is my green, and then my middle finger and ring finger, which is optional on the bottom, which is my orange. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull down with the right side like this. And as I'm pulling down, I'm gonna be pushing with this pointer finger and the middle finger and ring finger as hard as I can so it quickly snaps in like that because that's your next move. You're gonna push up the right side like this. So that, so you're gonna push down with your right and then pull up and then quickly grab your thumb under and then pull up and without taking your hand off, pull down with your thumb and push with your pointer finger to bring it down, just like that. So instead of having to go like this, you can simply just go much quicker. So I'll show you one more time. Thumb, pointer finger, middle finger, ring finger, push down. Push up with pointer finger, ring finger, and middle finger. And then push up with your thumb and then pull down with your middle finger. I mean your pointer finger, so. Now again, you want to make this motion as fluid as possible. And I'm going to show you the hedge slammer. It's not on the hedge slammer, so this is what it looks like. So just like the other one, you have the top, but it's going to be on the left, so this is what it looks like. Just like that. This one I'm a little more fluid at, but again, I have a little more harder trouble pinching this. And I also don't use my ring finger for this. So again, top is, I'm going to have my top as the blue, put it on the left. Sorry, I'm rushing. Thumb on the front. Pointer finger on the left, which is which used to be our front. I mean our top. And then uh, middle finger on the bottom, which is our red, but I usually don't use my, uh, my ring finger for this. So I simply just go like this. I push down with left, pull up with the left, and I bring it back up, push it back down. So again, just like the other one, as you're pulling down with the left, you'll be pushing with um, your middle finger and pointer finger as much as possible. And then already have your thumb ready to pull up. So I'll pull up and then bring it bring back down the left. So, so like that. Up. Notice, I'm only doing this with one hand instead of doing the simple. Because the less you want to just keep all that on. That's the most important part, using just one hand. Now taking your hand off the skew. Notice how I'm not even removing it from the skew. So that's pretty much it. I'll walk you through one more time. Thumb on the front, point your finger on the left, middle finger on the bottom. Pull down. And look how I'm pushing up with my middle finger and pointer finger. Then I already have my thumb ready to pull up. Push back down with my thumb and middle finger. So that's pretty much. It. So thanks for watching on my tutorial and tips on how to pull a finger trip a skew. Hope you enjoyed this one. Um, I have a lot of more really unique ones coming in soon. So more tip videos. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you later.